Hi, viewers. Uh, welcome to CVSRP Research YouTube channel. Uh, in the last videos, we discussed about the filing and publishing of Indian patents as well as uh, some new rules for award of PhD, uh, some journal publications, and all those things we discussed in the previous uh, videos. If you want, you can check my uh, YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain about how to publish a research paper in Scopus and SCA journals. Nowadays, if you observe any graduate student or a PG student, most probably, especially the students who are doing the PhD, so it's they, are, they are facing a lot of problems while publishing their paper in Scopus as well as you know essay journals. It's very difficult uh, to publish a paper in essay journal. Some journals it will take one year, some journals it will take six months, and some journals they simply reject your paper. It all depends upon how you are doing, how you are developing the, your research paper, as well as how you are uh, writing skills. So this, uh, there are a lot of parameters are there uh, while uh, submitting your paper in especially essay journals or Scopus journals. In this video, I simply make it very easy. Yeah, if you look into the Scopus website. First of all, uh, let me explain what is the Scopus and uh, what is the database of Scopus. So each and everything I will explain here. For suppose if you choose any one journal, whether it is in Scopus indexed or SA indexed or ESA indexed, uh, like that, uh, you have to know. So otherwise what happens, a lot of predatory journals are there in the society, in the market nowadays, simply they will publish within two or three days. It's there are a lot of fake journals also there. They are not indexing in a Scopus or SA journals. So they are like you know, predatory, predatory journals. So for that purpose, so to clear off all in mind, now I'm going to explain about how to find whether it is a authentication. What is the authentication of your journal? So in this case, this is a website, scopus.com. If you click in uh, here, or if you type in a Google, it will redirect it to this one, scopus.com. In this one, you can find out other search sources. And if you want to create your account also, you can create here, as well as, you know, uh, this is a website. For suppose, if I require a journal, this is a material journal from MDPA publishers. Now, I will simply check the ISSN number of this journal. Where is the ISSN number? So here there is an ISSN number that is one double nine six one double one nine double four. Simply copy it and go through this one. And here you simply click on sources. So once if you click on the sources, it will redirect it to this page, the sources page. Here you can observe the subject area, title, publisher, as well as ISSN number. If you know the title directly, you simply click on the title. If you know the publisher, you simply click on the publisher. If you know the ISSN number, simply click on ISSN number. Now I know, I simply I take in the ISSN number for authentication because of there are a lot of multiple journals are there, but ISSN number is only one for one journal. That's why for close authentication, the precise authentication of your journal, most probably take ISSN number. Now one double nine, Six iPhone one nine double four. While searching in uh, Scopus website, simply remove this iPhone. You have to enter all the eight numbers like this. Then simply click on the find source in. So find sources. What happens? It is uh, given one result that is the materials. The site score is four point two. The all details it is showing here. Yeah, like this. You see, this is the open access and the Scopus coverage is from 2008 to present and the ISSN number is whatever we entered that one one double nine six one nine double four so the here you can find out the HR ranking site score as well as uh, how we are calculating the site score rankings and also the category whether uh, it comes under which category and what is the ranking and what is the percentile and also the Scopus content coverage also so every year how many papers are publishing in this channel you see, for suppose in 2021, there are around 11,866 documents are there in 2022. Still now within three months, I think they published around 2,095 documents and you can find out the citations also. Even if you want to click here, the complete details it is showing here. Same like that, I will take one more channel. If go to the again uh, website, the scopus.com. There is a one more journal is there. If you want to look into, there is a computer journal, the computer journal, simply click on sources again. The ISSN number is 00104620. This is the another journal, you see, 
the computer journal which is the most uh, famous journal for the computer science people like it is uh, the coverage is from 1967 to present okay the publisher is oxford university press and you can you simply click uh, there is an option called you know source home page the authentication of your journal also you can simply click here there are a lot of proxy websites are developing nowadays so for that one uh, don't go believe that journals so simply click on the source home page it will redirect it to your home page like this you believe this one only here it, you can uh, see the what is the impact factor who is the editor and what is the volumes are there each and everything it will show you clearly this is the most important thing uh, while uh, knowing this one as well as we can find out the author search also in the website only for suppose if i simply click one author name okay simply i click here one author name i gave in last day last name as well as first name it will simply redirect it to one author name so here venkat sevaram prasad from saint peter's engineering college here is simply clicking here it is showing the or cid number as well as how many citations are there everything it is showing you see here seven documents are there and citations also it is see seven documents and nine citations also is it is there the h index this is a completely scopus not like uh, combining all other so only scopus it will simply uh, show you complete details of the papers recently how many papers are published how it look like such and everything the author contributions and everything it will show here next coming to the a web of science indexing so in this also the web of science indexing the it is also one of the indexing tool you must know here for suppose i told one nine this one the material journal if you want to know whether it is a sca or a cie or esca journal simply click here one double nine six one nine double four here you can uh, keep iphone also no problem simply click on the search it will show you the journal name that is the materials the publisher is MTPA. The ISSN number, the web of science score collection is the science citation index expanded. So even you can see the profile page and all other things from the web of science. So like this, for suppose if you enter the name, if it is not there in this list, that means your paper is not in the score, uh, web of science indexing journal. Okay. Now let me move into the another access, uh, aspect that is nothing but how to know for suppose now your paper is ready or uh, for suppose your title is ready or your abstract is ready so how to find whether it, i want to publish which journal is suitable for you for that purpose we have two things are there especially especially for the journal finder elsewhere.com as well as the journal suggester.springer.com so if you look into here the journal finder.elsewhere for suppose i published recently one paper here in this materials, the title is Assessment of Soft Computing Techniques for the Prediction of the Compressive Strength of Concrete. For suppose, simply I take in only that one. Here, there is a paper title, paper abstract, keywords, and a field of research. And even if you want to refine your research, also you can do that one also. I simply I copy and paste here, and as well as it is required paper abstract also here. Simply I click on the abstract. You can simply whatever you wrote. You can simply click on that one copy and paste here as well as if you want to give the keywords you can give and if you want a field of research for suppose if you are from engineering or agriculture background or environment science so whatever it may be there are just a few things are there engineering material science mathematics or some humanities sort of things are there you simply click on that one or if you don't know if you don't want to know the field of research directly you simply click on the find journals option so in this fine journals option, what happens based on your abstract as well as the title, it, it will show you which is the best match for your paper. For suppose it is showing the Alexandria journal here, as well as information processing, measurement journal, computer and electronics, agriculture, operate soft computing tech uh, journal, like advanced engineering informatics, like a lot of journals are there. But thing is that how we have to choose. For suppose, sometimes if it is a funded project, if there is a funding is there, you can go for the open access journal. That means you have to pay some article processing charges. Or if you if you need only subscription based, that means we don't pay any uh, penny, but we have to do go, it will go for the proper uh, review. Even that open access also it will go for the proper proper peer reviewed. But the thing is that 
you will see how much acceptance rate is there, what is the impact factor, and what is the time to fast decision for suppose while if you send your paper to any journal, how many day, how many days it will take, or how many weeks it will take, or how many months it will take for the first decision, as well as how many days or how many weeks or how many months or how many years it will take to publish. So for suppose if you see information processing agriculture, it takes around 53 weeks, but acceptance rate is 13. If you see the another journal, computers and electronics in agriculture, it takes only six weeks and the time to publish is three weeks. So like that, you have to check which is the acceptance rate is more and also the publishing process, the review process and all other things, which is a less one, you have to check and you have to find out. This is the elsewhere journals, uh, how you have to do that. The same thing, how we will go for the Springer. For suppose, in, uh, if you click on the journal suggested.springer.com, so same thing, you have to enter your manuscript title or manuscript text and subject area, then you have to click the uh, suggest journals. Same thing, uh, I will copy and paste here the abstract, it is there. I'm simply copy abstract as well as the title. Here the same thing, title is there. Simply I will copy the title, okay? And uh, I paste here and simply I click on the suggest journal. So it will give you, the suggesting journals like you know you see you observe here if you want to give the subject area also you can do, uh, give like you know architectural design biomedicine business management chemistry engineering environment finance uh, finance and law life sciences what things are there here it is showing arabian journal of geoscience uh, modeling at systems and environment environmental science and pollution research the acceptance ratio here you see modeling at systems and environment 45 percentage so like that, uh, you have to check on how many days it will take. You see, it will take around 173 days of computing, but impact factor is good. So like that, there are a lot of uh, journals are suggesting from the spring here. So you can uh, simply go through the this uh, website, journals suggest, journal suggested.springer.com, where you can find out your personalized recommendation as well as it is having about 2,000, 2,500 journals. And even there is an author choice option also is there easily compare relevant journals to find the best place for the publications. So this is a one more method, uh, find out this one. So before why I explain these two means, before uh, start any of your work or any of your paper, first you have to know with the title as well as the abstract, whatever you write. So based on that only, we have to check which journal is suitable for your uh, research. Then how to write the Scopus paper or uh, essay paper, that must stand it. But suppose uh, if you write only two or three pages, it's very difficult to publish an essay paper. Now, if recently I published this journal in uh, MDPI, I will show you that website also. Here it is showing the impact factor is 3.623. That means it's not easy to publish in this paper. Okay, it takes uh, proper review and also proper time and and everything. The quality also is good. Now I am showing that paper, the assessment of soft computing techniques for the prediction of compressive strength of bacterial concrete. You know, the first and foremost thing, abstract is very, very important. While writing the abstract, you must clearly explain what your research is uh, showcasing to the uh, people and what exact outcomes you got. So like uh, exactly how precisely how to write in this abstract, Try how to write a little bit introduction, uh, then what you got outcomes of your uh, research, so each and everything you must precisely enter. Not only research, which, which outcomes you are going to explain in this paper, the same things you have to enter here. So how to write properly abstract, the same like that. So next thing is the keyword. In this keyword option also, very, very important thing. The keywords are very properly you have to enter. And next introduction part, you see, there is a introduction part here. If you look into the citations, see one comma two, three comma four, five, six to eight. So that means where if you take any data from any researcher or any uh, any published paper, you have to give a proper citation uh, from where you got the data or you are writing in your own. So like that you have to write. And as well as most of the essay journals, there is no separate part of introduction as well as a literature review. The both things are combined, combinedly you have to write introduction as well as a literature review. And moreover, while writing a literature review, you have to take the contemporary research related to your paper or your research work. Not like, you know, for suppose if you are in 2022, 
So in 2022 means you have to take from last five years data is most precisely not like 1970, 1965 or 1985 like that. You, have, you must take from last five to six years data and you have to what are the innovations are coming, how it will related to the literature review, how to mention each and everything in the literature review portion. Then uh, the second important thing is the research significance. It is a most important thing while uh, writing a paper or especially in the standard papers, you must write the research significance. What is the exactly uh, researchers previously done uh, in the previous papers or previous journals? What you are going to do? What is the innovation in your paper? What, what the specialty of your research paper? You are going to showcase your, to the society or to the people. So the same thing you have to mention in the research significance. That means what is innovation exactly speaks to the people. So the same thing uh, you have to write in the research uh, significance. And next, a review of regression on soft computing. Means in this portion, like uh, what are the methods you are going to use? So each and every method you have precisely how to write, how many methods you are going to do, or what are the objectives you are going to uh, find out in your research paper you must write and materials and methodology which method what are the materials if it is in programming level which type of programming you are doing so each and everything you have to write uh, clearly and you have to do the uh, proper uh, citations also and each and everything you must write here the next portion is results and discussions Whatever you mentioned in the abstract, the outcomes and whatever you mentioned in the research significance and whatever you mentioned in the methodology, all the methodology related the results should be presented over here in the results and discussion portion. For suppose you see, uh, we explained each and everything, not like uh, simply pasting the results or like, you know, like in a photograph, in a figure format or any graphical representation or in a tables. It's very difficult to find out only by seeing the table or a graph. You must write each and everything. There is explanation of each and every table. There is there must be a proper explanation of each table, each graph. Then only reader will understand clearly. The standard of your paper will be increased. Otherwise, it's very difficult. You see, you are observing here whatever in this uh, whatever I am showing the paper. There are a lot of graphs are there, tables are there. But each and every under the graph, we are simply mentioned the complete data, how we got that one, what is the use of the tables and uh, how we uh, comparing with other results. So each and everything you have to mention here. So same like that, if you look into the uh, conclusions, the conclusion parts are uh, precisely how to write exactly how many conclusions are there. Uh, what you mentioned in the abstract, the same thing you have to do here. The same next one is author contribution, funding, whether you got funding from any university, but this one, we got funded by University of Diala as the Krakow University of Technology. And also there is a concept and institutional review board statement, data availability. So all those things you have to mention. And the last one is the references. So these references you have to properly cite how many papers you referred, the same thing you have to mention here, the same thing you have to write here. So like this, uh, you have to write your paper, not like simply one or two pages writing. It's very difficult to publish your research paper. So thank you so much for watching this paper, uh, watching this video. And uh, if you find any difficulty to publish Scopus and uh, essay journals, you can uh, message in comment box, as well as uh, if you like my video, simply click on like button and share with your friends. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you so much.